like when a when a when a shorty would, would buns past my guys be like, hey yo, yo, you see that yo, yo, bro, you see that cake over there? Hey, hey yo. And a good thing. Welcome back, D and E family. You already know who it is. It's the one and only Darlene. And you, G. <laughs> and guys, we have a challenge today. Um, we haven't really like seen people do this challenge, but I think I've seen like one person do it, and it seemed pretty interesting. So the challenge, as you can tell by the title. Oh wait, even before I go ahead and describe all that good stuff, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and to hit the bell, okay? <laughs> Just so that you're the first one to get notified every time we post a new video because you don't want to miss out, and we don't want y'all to miss out. You feel me? Okay. All right, so... Yeah, so the challenge that we're going to be doing is called the Urban Dictionary Challenge. And this is how we're going to do it. So Earth. I'm going to... You're so dumb. <laughs> you just had to, huh? I had no choice. You left me no choice. I can't. So, the... Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up the Urban Dictionary, as you guys can see. And I'm going to be choosing a couple of words that... Or, like, phrases... Falafel. That, you know, like you hear every day or that you don't hear every day, but it's not in the regular dictionary. Falafel. And if you don't know what Urban Dictionary is, it's basically a dictionary full of terms and phrases that are like slang or that are popular amongst like a certain area or a certain group of people. So then they're not really going to be common terms that you could actually look up in like the Merriam-Webster dictionary. If you didn't know, don't feel bad. She had to explain it to me, so. Yeah, it's it's weird that people don't know what the Urban Dictionary is. Listen, it's not that important to me, so it's not going to stick in my mental. If it's not important and I don't need it on a daily basis, guess what? It's in through one ear or it's this ear and it's out the other. It just, if I don't use it on a daily basis, I'm, I'm not care. I'm not caring. I guess. All right, so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna give him the word or the phrase and then he's gonna have to guess what it is and what it means and then I'm gonna tell him whether he's right or wrong and then I'll read the actual definition. You heard? Yeah. I'm you back. ready? I think so. All right. It's like we stay ready. I'm too excited. <laughs> All right, so you ready for the first word? Let's get it. Or first phrase? Mm -hmm. All right, so the first phrase is Break the fart wall. Wow. What do you think that means? I would have to, I'd have to assume that it means there's a wall, it's an invisible wall, and it smells like fart, and you gotta break it. And I don't know how exactly you break it. I'm assuming with maybe like Fabrice, maybe That's with a fan. Good. I could be tripping, I'm not sure. Hmm, you're wrong. Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just, <laughs> I was making sure, like. <laughs> yeah, you're wrong. Okay, so break the fart wall, guys, means the point in a relationship where one first farts in front of the other. Oh <laughs> shoot! <laughs> That's what break the fart wall means. That's yeah, different. It is. I don't know if I would have like really guessed that. No, but it makes sense now. Yeah. It's almost like they call they say breaking the ice, break the fart fart wall. True. All right, you ready for the next word? Yeah. All right, so the next word is jocking. Oh, jocking. Oh, what's... Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is, is, is that more of like a... So, like when a, when a, when a shorty would, would buns past my guys would be like, Hey, yo! Yo, you see that? Yo, yo, bro, you see that cake over there? Hey, hey, yo! Bro, hey, hey, yo, ma! Ma, ma, mama! Mommy! 
Okay, it's a point. Senorita, is, is, is it that? Like, I don't know. It's like catcalling type of thing. Like, um, you... you're kind of close. Yeah. All right. So this is their definition of mm. jocking. To engage in flirtatious behavior with another. Flirting. To crush on someone. To hit on someone. Uh, so you basically got that one right. Uh, yeah. Check you out. We trying. We jocking on a. All right, this one should definitely be easy. What does deep bro talk mean? <laughs> <laughs> this one, uh, two like two guys get they start they speak at a at a deeper level. Like I, I don't want to say intimate because that's how get me. Mm-hmm. But it's just like when two guys get real with each other and they talk, they talk like for real. Yeah, that's correct. Their definition is. A serious talk between two close male friends in which they talk about all the things going on in their life at the moment. So you got that, you got that, you got that. Oh, what? What is it? Oh, that's different. Oh, that's easy. Ooh. Oh, what is, what does stomach sweats mean? Is it almost like the bubble guts? So when I say bubble guts, it's like, when you really gotta take a dookie and you can't take a dookie and you just like, your, your stomach starts making all these crazy bubbly noises, but I'm assuming that it's the exact opposite, that you start sweating instead. Mm, you so, kinda had it. It's kinda like when you have to use a bathroom and you you start sweating, it's something like that, I'm assuming. Mm, let me hear it. Let me their hear definition it. of stomach sweats is when your stomach hurts so bad that it starts sweating. <laughs> wow, that's mad. That's straightforward. That should. What? I was close. I can't. Yeah. I've never heard of that. Me neither. Where your stomach hurts so bad that your stomach starts to sweat. What? What do y'all go through out there? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to figure out. What are you mad? What are you going through? What are you eating? Like, why are you putting yourself through such a I, I couldn't think about my stomach hurting so much to the point where I'm sweating. I mean, the plus size, I said plus size. The plus side is that you're losing weight. You're sweating, you're burning calories, so. You always gotta find a positive. It's always about the perception. All right. <clears throat> so, the next one is, this one's so easy because everybody knows what this phrase means. Let's hope I do what does I'm dead mean? Oh. <laughs> you see, here's the thing. Like, I know, but I don't even know there's a proper way to explain it. You try it. It's like, I, don't, I can only explain it by using the same type of, like, the same type of, oh, man, the same type of term. Like, when, when someone says I'm done, oh, I'm finessed, oh, that's it. Oh, what's the, how can I describe this? It's, I'm assuming it's like when you can't take anymore. When you reach that threshold, like, yo, I, I, I'm, this is too much. Threshold of what? I, I don't know, whatever, whatever, you, whatever is like, it's, I'm dead to, like, let's say you're explaining a story and it's too, it's too gruesome, bro, I'm dead, I don't want to hear no more, I'm good. It's too funny, like, I'm dead. Okay, there you go. So, their definition of I'm dead is, you died of laughter, aka something is that funny, you laughed so hard, you died. And then they have like example sentences. So this example sentence says, after she peed in a driveway, Lily cleaned her legs with vodka. And then the other person said, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, mm. wow. The way they map that out is kind of like Yeah, but weird, that sounds mad but funny. I'm a, I after think I'm she the only peed person. in a driveway, Lily cleaned her legs with vodka. Wait, what? That's what makes it so funny. She's probably mad drunk, which is why she did it. <laughs> See, you clean your legs with vodka. She definitely wasn't thinking. She's probably just like, I need to clean. This is clear. It looks like water. Facts. Ah, that's true. Okay, Lily wasn't bugging too much. Mm-mm. She was going off of instinct. All right. What does RPP mean? Will he ever guess this? Rip the pom pom. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually if it's a T, it, it, it doesn't count. <laughs> nah? Because that's what I, I like the sound of that one. You're gonna rip the boom boom. 
I'm gonna rip it. Oh, too much? <laughs> no, that's not what it that's means. That's not it? What no. RPP means rich people problems. Wow. Yes. I would have so, guessed that. The sentence that they have right here is my boss lives in Greenwich and is freaking out over finding a new nanny. That is some serious RPP. So that is some serious rich people problems. I would have never guessed that. Dang. I wonder how many you got right. I didn't even keep score. I kept score like after the second one and then that was it. You know, the other ones, I can't, you can't even really count them as right because I use other terms to, like, to try to define that term instead of using like, because I couldn't find the words to properly define the terms or like the sayings that were being said. Yeah, I get it. Because I understood them. It was just like, I, the words just were nowhere in my body. They right. just weren't there. They weren't in there. So you could say I got two right. The first two, I definitely got right. The rest of them are down south. They were somewhere. So if you guys kept track of how many he got right and wrong, make sure to leave them in the comment section Let down below so that we know how many, you know, he actually understood. Yo. So guys, we're actually going to do a part two. And it's going to be me. Test to her. Yeah. We see, see what her urban, her urban dictionary. The, 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 <laughs> what her on? Oh my! You see, this is why I hate when I lose. Yeah, while he recovers, guys, <laughs> <laughs> make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and to share this video with anyone who you think might be interested or who you just like to introduce us to. And make sure to also. Hit the bell, just in case you're new. Urban vocabulary, that's the word I was looking for. That's what, no, for real. I hate when that happens. When I know it, I'm mad Five slow. Five years later. Listen, I be telling you, I, be t I, I tell all the time I'm, a, I'm slow, but when I get it, I got it. That's it. Get the quiero. All right, guys. Until next time. Que lo que, mommy. Next time is part two. Part two to the two to the maybe three. We never Bye, see. we love y'all.